Hotel Shopping District. This was uh, an individual um, who fancies himself as a rapper, um, but is also a member um, of a gang. Identified as 26-year-old Carlton Weekly, but more commonly known by the name FBG Duck. Where the mayor made this false statement about my son. Carlton Weekly did not have a criminal record. No criminal record? Not at all. She should be ashamed of herself for promoting that. Depressing in the extreme, cops in Chicago, they're on high alert. Gang members there may be teaming up to kill police officers. Yeah. According to an indictment returned last week and unsealed this morning, former Chicago police commander John Burge broke the law when he's supposed to uphold it. Our investigation found a disturbing pattern in these cases. Chicago police getting drug or gun tips from informants, then failing to verify the addresses before busting in on innocent families. Police body cameras captured this nighttime raid. One of Chicago. Chicago both with the Chicago Police Department. They were assigned to 10th District gang team. They're accused of basically shaking down drug dealers, mainly the other the by the authority. The yet you almost never find the police were guilty of misconduct. Is that not true? That has been the history of the agency. I'm not sure that's the case going forward. And From to those who engage in this criminal behavior, let's be clear: we are coming for you. We are already at work in finding you, and we will intend to hold you accountable for your actions. Your rack show, rack song, rack song. They go spend the tax hoe. I come from the trenches, man, it's just so treacherous. Thirty shots of standard, burgers in my mattress, and my young boy stand on business. But her neck is bought a car, it went fast enough. But this cat is, and it's all black. Bitch, I'm flying like I'm fresh. I just booted up, I'ma have an Oreo. Boot up. But that's not the story though. I'm trying to fly some shit too. So I'm on some like, I'm on some big dog shit. Leave them little niggas alone, come suck a big dog dick. See this roll, it cost me 40, that's a big dog risk. Yeah, bitch, I'm the boss, I'm on my Rick Ross shit. Many of you have problems finding clothes, but if you look in the description box for the information, you can find information for Top Notch clothing brand. Top Notch MME is a high-end street wear brand for men and women with a top-notch sense of style. And look, guys, I, I wear it. I just bought my own clothing, and they're top-notch for real. Look, they're not just a top-notch brand. They're a way of life. Go get your own, very own top-notch brand clothing. Thought it was Hey, CJ. What? Move your hand. Big who? Big clout. Big motherfucking clout in the gate, baby. I just got in touch with FBG Duck's mother. Now, FBG Duck mother, rest in peace to FBG. She told me a lot about the situation that's going on in Chicago with FBG Duck and many other gangbangers in Chicago. She talked about a lot of things like how in a month they raided her apart, I mean her house. They kept harassing her due to a lot of things, yet not explaining the murder. Um, the mayor calling her son a gangbanger. He's not a gangbanger. He doesn't even have a criminal record, adult record. There seems to be a growing beef between hostilities of Chicago police and Chicago gangbangers. I'm about to let you guys hear what Mayor Lori Lightfoot had to say about FBG Doug. Bitch, I got the juice. Bitch, I'm off her juice. She should be ashamed of herself. Sheena Weekly is talking about Mayor Lori Lightfoot, saying these comments were uncalled for. My understanding is that this was uh, an individual um, who fancies himself as a rapper, um, but is also a member um, of a gang. Um, there's been an ongoing conflict between um, his gang and another. Weekly says her son was a rapper. Also known to the music industry as FBG Duff. But was not in a gang. Carlton Weekly did not have a criminal record. Instead, he was a the fact that a city official, a public figure such as Mayor Lightfoot can say what she said, knowing and giving her connection to another rapper that's the rival of Carlton Weekly. Well, let's explain first who's Carlton Weekly. I mean, FBG Doug's mother also stated to me in the DMs that Doug doesn't even have a adult record. So why would Mayor 
Lori Lightfoot say these things. Now I want you guys you to listen to Doug. Yes, sir. What I want to say, for all you silly ass niggas that's killing all these innocent babies because y'all want to catch a nigga that y'all think y'all in tour with, or however the motherfucking situation might go, you feel me? Look, I got four kids. You see what I'm saying? I got three boys, one girl. You know what I'm saying? If I catch a nigga with his daughter, I'm going to give him a pass. That's just the heart of me because I don't want no nigga to catch me. What we wanted to know was why did the mayor target Duck and assassinated his character? I mean, I think the second half of this 2020 vision interview, Duck is going to explain well why the city was against him. Four kids. You see what I'm saying? I got three boys, one girl. You know what I'm saying? If I catch a nigga with his daughter, I'm going to give him a pass. That's just the heart of me because I don't want no nigga to catch me with one, one of my kids and try to take me in front of my kids. You see what I'm saying? So I give nigga a pass like that, but you silly ass niggas need to stop getting these guns, doing all this extra shit that y'all doing. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all ain't doing it right. Y'all not even hitting y'all target. You know what I'm saying? It's already that y'all is fucked up that we out here killing each other as black people. You know what I'm saying? We should be sticking together, but they want to gang bang forever, don't want to do nothing with their life. I pray to God that y'all stay safe out here. Now, the mayor words about Carlton Weekly are disgusting and disturbing simply for the fact that she has aligned herself with no other than Little Dirk himself. <laughs> Now, many of you guys know who Lil Dirk is. If you don't know who he is, ladies and gentlemen, meet Dirk, Chicago recording artist. Now, the mayor's connection with Chicago rap star Lil Dirk went far for a very long time. Now, the mayor claims that FBG Doug Carlton Weekly was a gangbanger and a thug with no marriage, he has no criminal records, and there's no other proof other than music, a free form of your First Amendment rights to speak with free speech. Now the problem with the mayor is that Dirk has been giving her funds through her campaign for years, and here's... Here's the startling part, that picture I showed you guys was taken all the way in April, so why didn't she call Dirk a thug? Did Mayor Lori Lightfoot forget about helping Atlanta, Georgia Police Department with the King Vaughn and Little Dirt case? A case against a rapper accused in a shooting outside of the varsity will move forward. Today, Little Dirk appeared in court where a judge ruled there was enough evidence for him to go to trial. Channel 2's anchor. I know, right? We caught her in a lie, but there's Defendants. more. On Friday, detectives from Atlanta and Chicago testified in the criminal case against rapper Lil Durk in Fulton County Court. They say around 5 in the morning on February 5th, Lil Durk, whose real name is Dirk Derek Banks, and his co-defendant, Devontae Bennett, were seen on camera involved in shooting Alexander Witherspoon, a person police say they knew. They were hanging out. They went to a um, studio to make music. The rapper and Bennett listened to the evidence against them in court. Police told the judge later that night the victim, Banks, Bennett and others went to a nightclub, a gas station and ended up in the parking lot of the varsity. That's when Weatherspoon said he was robbed and shot. He said his chain was snatched off his neck and he had $30,000 stolen from him and they stole the vehicle he was driving. Police say Banks was seen on tape shooting a gun. You see Mr. Banks arm out the window firing several shots at the victim, towards the victim. Remember, I was broke as fuck. Now my check bleed, bitches still let me fuck with now some other people might dismiss what i say and this is clout chasing is not true but how about if i show you this part of the video where employees for mayor lightfoot testify in court he's a gang member and not just a gang banger they're also using the employees of chicago to fly all the way to atlanta georgia to give convincing evidence that dirk is a hazard and a gang banger. An aggravated assault. banks released a single turn myself in the day he turned himself in it's gotten almost seven million million views. The prosecutor charging this wasn't just a robbery and shooting, but gang activity. She put a Chicago detective on the stand to testify that Banks and Bennett are members of Chicago gangs. Is it possible to continue your affiliation and even commit crimes when you move out of Chicago if you're in a different city or if a different area? Yes, ma'am. I keep hurting myself when I'm gone. I like smoking woods because they slow burn. They say when it rains, it pours. Now questions have and tonight a disturbing pattern continues as more families are accusing Chicago police of bad raids. Child police are fired! Busting in homes and drawing weapons on innocent families. How many of you had guns pointed at you? 
including Jolanda Blassing Games family. And I felt scared for my life. Her boys were playing. FBG Doug mother sent me a DM about how a month ago they raided her house illegally and did a whole lot. Let's listen about Chicago raids. Police failing to investigate. The suspect hadn't lived in the building for five years. In the Peter Mendez raid, officers were caught whispering in another room, saying they are in the wrong apartment. He gave us the wrong apartment. He gave us the wrong apartment. But that didn't stop them from still searching. They even searched Peter's school backpack, which left him devastated. They really hurt Death him that day. Dave. Mayor Lori Lightfoot says these wrong raids have to stop immediately. We can't have this. And now is reacting to our 10-month CBS2 investigation, exposing case after case of bad Chicago police raids happening at the homes of innocent people across the city. Mayor, we have now had... Actually, after the raids and Miss Lori Lightfoot claimed they're going to wreak havoc and take care of it, she put a certain lame duck chief to take care of it and that chief is now fired but let's watch the video of what they're going to do to five clean to up seven are involved they're all members of the area central gang unit sources tell us the fbi conducted at least three sting operations in the past year the officers allegedly took money and drugs from a drug dealer sources also say the incidents were captured on surveillance and federal search warrants were carried out on the officers homes CBS2 legal analyst Irv Miller spoke to us via FaceTime. If there were search warrants, they're looking for uh, some proceeds, cash laying around. On one occasion, sources say the team of tactical officers took nearly $20,000 from a drug dealer. What they're probably... I know you're thinking corruption in the city. I thought Mrs. Lori Lightfoot cleaned up the city. Well, she did. She hired this gentleman over here. And guess what she did to this dude after cleaning him up? That's right. After... Hiring this dude, she fired him. This morning, Chicago's top cop is out of a job and questions are swirling about what led to Eddie Johnson's firing. Eddie Johnson engaged in conduct that is not only unbecoming, but demonstrated a series of ethical lapses and flawed decision making that is inconsistent with having the privilege of leading the Chicago. Now, after the mayor fired the police chief a lot of things came out about what was he doing to get fired he claimed he took medicine he was sleeping but proof had came out that he was doing things with gang members that's right top cop was in business with gang bangers that's right at the time he blamed the incident on a problem with his medication it's painful to, to admit this but when he adjusted my medication i took the old medication out for high blood pressure but I failed to put the new dismissed after the mayor reviewed the city's inspector general's report and video evidence related to the night he was found in his car. Eddie Johnson intentionally lied to me several times, even when I challenged him about the narrative that he shared with me. He maintained that he was telling the truth. I now know definitively that he was not. Mayor Lightfoot would not specify what those alleged lies were, saying revealing them would not be fair to Johnson. <laughs> And now this. I want to give my sincere thanks to the men and women of our police department for their professionalism throughout these very difficult times, not just last night. Now, I want to know how can this mayor speak about professionalism and with police when Chicago Police Department, like many other police departments, have a string of corruption. Now, I know what y'all thinking, man, this mayor is corrupted. Look, she's not the first. In fact, Chicago has a long lengthy history of famous mayors being arrested for corruption. Now, there's been a long line of corruption going on in Chicago, as I just said, but look at all these political campaign criminals i call them and the famous ones of all are these top four as you're seeing you're seeing a lot of them such as the george ryans of the world they all fall in line of 
the politician herself, Mayor Lightfoot. Mayor Lightfoot is only in this for the agendas. Now, there's so many allegations and proof that her policies have hurt family members in Chicago. They've given weapons away to people in Chicago. Not allegedly. This has been proven already. People in her campaigns have been getting funds from gang members and people affiliated with some of the members of the GDs, BG, uh, BDs, allegedly, and G basically gang members affiliation. And she stayed quiet and remained quiet because of several news and cases like this that have made breaking waves. In Chicago today, the agency that investigates police misconduct released videos and audio recordings from more than 100 violent encounters with police. Dean Reynolds tells us it's a step toward reforming a department of time. She's under arrest! Back up! These videos were officially released online along with information involving 98 other serious police incidents. An unprecedented attempt at transparency to root out cop misconduct and restore go, public can't confidence. Nobody tell me why I can't go. I'm not on parole. Everybody around me know that my pocket's cool. And we about to celebrate like we just won the Super Bowl. Now, we just heard from the reports that the department is corrupted. So one would have to ask, did they find any fault in the EMT's police when FBG Doug died? And no resuscitation and no pressure was put on his wounds. No life-saving measures were given to him. Now, will they find violence and misconduct? The other by the authority them? yet. You almost never find the police were guilty of misconduct. Is that not true? That has been the history of the agency. I'm not sure that's the case going forward. From now on, she said, relevant videos will be released 60 to 90 days after the incident. The notorious Laquan McDonald shooting by a white cop in 2014 came out 400 days after his death. No justice, no peace! Caused widespread protests and was the trigger for this new, more transparent policy. Craig Don't worry about your son, cause these niggas don't put fear me. But I'm so burned. Now you gotta ask, why were they raiding FBG Doug? mother house why were they raiding him a month within his death that has to ask you what are the collusions are going on what behind the scenes that we all don't know now we're going to show you more details about why the chicago police love doing these raids why the corruptions is deep and why people are trying to kill them well the top prosecutor in illinois is trying to turn the page from a dark period in chicago police history it's believed that one bad cop preyed on innocent residents of a housing project, rounding up dozens of people on bogus charges. Now, what we're about to show you is the worst scandal been going on with these raids in Chicago history under the guidance of Ms. Lightfoot. An empty lot now marks the spot of one of the worst Chicago police scandals in history. Once the Ida B. Wells housing project, it was where a group of corrupt Chicago cops preyed almost risk-free on residents for most of a decade. Sergeant Ronald Watts was the ringleader. Residents accused him and his squad of extortion, filing false police reports, planting evidence and assault. If you didn't cooperate with him, you was going down. You was against him. You was against his operation and his way of getting money. I was terrified. I was trying to get away, get out that neighborhood. I had nowhere to go. Willie Martin and Cleon Glover are two of 42 wrongly convicted people exonerated so far by state's attorney Kim Fox. We have to admit when things have we gone wrong. Last week I just ran through a dub here. That somebody smoked a homie and you stood there. Good folks out here, he'll bug ya. Thought he said he got the wrong like fuck ya. Brazzy Papa. Size Rip Shopper. Now it's clear as day, city officials and public servants, i.e. police, are picking their favorites, they're using informants to rob each other, they're using and exploiting certain rappers, so is it fair to say FBG Doug did not let the police extort him? These are the biggest gang members in the United States of America besides our military force, and that's the police department. It's clear as day, FBG Doug was set up, and here is these activities. This is a copy of the grand jury indictment released by the feds. In it, it says that 
Sergeant Xavier Elizondo and Officer David Salgado, both with the Chicago Police Department. They were assigned to 10th District Gang Team. They're accused of basically shaking down drug dealers, mainly on the west side of the city, for drugs and money, and then using that for their own personal profit. They're also accused of feeding information to people so they could pose as informants in order to get what are called J. Doe search warrants, which would give them the authority using the power of their office to search residences and vehicles for certain things. And so they would have these people lie basically to judges, get the search warrants, and then search these premises, seizing drugs and property. And then they would use the, that money to pay the informants. And in some cases, they would just keep it for their own personal use is what the allegations are. Superintendent Johnson found these allegations to be so damning that he took the opportunity today to address hundreds of recruits at the police academy and he said that the allegations were just a disgrace to him and the entire department and he said if they are proven to be true in court he wants his badges back from these officers at this time we reached out to the feds they said that the arraignment for these officers has not yet been scheduled but that should happen shortly and sources are telling us that more charges could come down in this case I can't call on other people when I need some help They don't care about me for real, so why the fuck should I care? I done had my heart stepped on too many times I was letting people fill my head with Cops extorting young dudes and lying on them is nothing brand new. But when we're calling FBG Doug Carlton Weekly a thug, what do we call those public officials we're supposed to serve and protect? I'm about to show you another famous clip from one of the most disparaging evidence you can use in one of the officers Chicago Police in Station. Chicago. The statute of limitations on that torture and abuse has long since passed. But former police commander Burge also filed lies, um, submitted lies, of some under oath in a federal civil rights lawsuit in 2003. And for his lies about this torture and abuse, we intend to hold him in police custody. Make no mistake about it, the people in police custody that were abused and tortured were suspected of awful crimes. Make no mistake, some of them may have been guilty of awful crimes, but that is no excuse. Torture and abuse have no place in Chicago Fresh Police Station. As a superintendent last night and this morning, of course, is deeply painful for every Chicagoan. As the superintendent said, this was an assault on our city. It I mean, this mayor is unbelievable. She says what she says about protecting the city. She has these rants and speeches judging FBG Doug, who we know as Carlton Weekly. That's right, he was a civilian that day in Gold Coast. No more should have he been called a thug nor a criminal. But what about this officer over here who's been charged? That publicly um, in 2013 when this one ended up first coming out. And I don't know if the CI is the one involved, if the confidential informant is the issue, or if there's other evidence that was deemed not worth of being brought in against one or more of the defendants. What concerned me is that you've got a prosecution that's going on for five years. The prosecution uh, has been very high profile and you've got current evidence that's being used against all three defendants. Bitch, bitch, tell bitch that I'm on some big dog shit. Leave them little niggas alone, come suck a big dog dick. See this roll, it cost me 40, that's a big dog risk. Yeah, bitch, I'm the boss, I'm well, that police officer was no more than Mrs. Lightfoot best friend that's right one of her friends committing crime i mean we're we're very uh, uh, familiar with the situation being that she's friends with dirk and knew dirk for a while now even though he's charged with murders the fact that dirk is charged with murders and you have this mayor not saying anything with it even if there are alleged murders attempted murders but she disparaged carlton weekly's name and it's it seemed to make sense while a few years ago a couple of gang bangers were busting back and it's been a long problem in chicago where gang members are now retaliating for the officials who have failed them what if i show you guys a clip about police being hunted down by gang bangers which is depressing in the extreme cops in Chicago. They're on high alert. 
gang members there may be teaming up to kill police officers. Yeah, Thanks. very disturbing story. Leaders from three major gangs uh, in Chicago reportedly met last week. They're discussing plans, as you say, Stuart, to kill a police officer. This following the shooting death of an 18-year-old man uh, who was shot by police after he allegedly stole a car. Uh, apparently, the gangs are accumulating guns, and they've set up what they call a sniper point. Now, officers, uh, uh, you know, the Chicago cops say they are on high alert. They have not found a so-called sniper point, but certainly they are very concerned, as you can imagine, because these gangs are normally shooting each other. They are allegedly are getting together to to. Uh, kill police officers essentially is what they're aiming at. What an extraordinary so, story. Very Isn't sad state of affairs. Absolutely extraordinary story. But thank you for bringing it to us. You are good with relationships, but her neck is bought a car. It went fast enough, but this cat is, and it's all black. Bitch, I'm flying like I'm Batman. Bullet holes all. And security of their property and in their employees. And our police officers deserve to be able to do their job without having to worry about shots being fired, being thrown projectiles being thrown and being maced now the mayor is talking about not shooting at officers you shouldn't shoot at anybody how about that mayor you didn't provide help for duck you made duck look as if the death was needed to happen and I, that makes me suggest when fbg mother says what she says and all these bloggers are mad at her now that you guys been watching this video for almost 30 minutes is it fair to say that these people are complicit in the death of innocent people that's right innocent that's right unless if you have proof duck is guilty of something quit calling him a gang member but we do know your police officers are guilty so let's hear what fbg duck mother the beautiful lady that she had to say about not duck in a gang carlton weekly did not have a criminal record instead he was a father of four he has three beautiful sons and one daughter his oldest is five and the youngest is three all now left to grow up with just memories of a father and it's instilled in them they know who their dad is they know who their dad was but this we know him as fbg doug his mom know him as carlton weekly yes that's her baby boy and her joy he should have been given the same benefits as any citizens in united states of america in illinois of chicago check out these raids that they did in 2008 and also now that show is proof the mayor has lost the city cpd gave us information on just 2708 search warrants since 2016 yet we've uncovered there were more than 11,000 cpd warrants signed off on by the cook county state's attorney's office during that time frame so why isn't cpd releasing the other 8,000 plus warrants they refuse to explain you raise the, the question of foia i'm all about it we, I don't want people to have to hire lawyers, sue the city to get access to basic information. The 2,708 search warrant records CPD did turn over raises yet another question. They showed just 42 arrests. That means more than 98% of the time, no one was arrested. That's right, Mayor Lightfoot. You seem to just talk a lot of crap out your butt. You don't make sense. You're just giving us gibberish. And a lot of you guys are probably thinking, oh, these raids been fixed. I just told you on Sunday, they illegally searched the house of FBG Duck's mother and didn't find anything. Now they're still doing it. That's right. Just two days ago, they did it again. She is actively working with the affected family as well as the city of Chicago to repair a door that was damaged during the incident. The Franklins worry less about the door and more about the long-term damage. They came in, they pointed the guns at me, my husband, my daughter, my 12-year-old son was in the bed sleep in the back room. They went into his room where he was with the guns over him. Talk to me with respect. We're telling you we don't know what you're talking about, but yet and still you bust the doors open. We're violated. We don't know if we should feel safe anymore. We have our kids here. We emotional distress, anxiety, all type of things. I mean, to see the egregious level of misconduct, incompetence for this lady's employees, she didn't fire nobody but one person who's gonna retire three weeks 
anyways so she can assume and see why she did something this lady is the same lady who has said she has given the city a chance to be protected a neighborhood protection plan as the superintendent to petty theft to feed themselves and their families this was straight up felony criminal conduct we have activated a neighborhood protection plan as the superintendent alluded to which involves city agencies like Streets and Sand, CDOT, Aviation, working coordination with the Chicago Police Department. Look, the message I have for all you guys are we can judge everybody if we want to. Since a little kid, we we're told not to judge a book by its cover. But we're the first people to think we have x-ray visions and we always judge the book by its cover. Now, I want you bloggers to understand. Just because you see FBG Doug talk about certain things or you think you know certain things. If you've never seen him kill anybody or do anything, I don't care if he said he's in a game. You've never seen him do things to show you proof he conducted himself in a criminal manner. Quit saying it especially if you are the mayor of a city i understand folks like me and you all but you're the mayor of the city do your job and protect the people look i'm your guy bless one love your family love your kids and stay blessed hit that like button y'all this is a shame my man, my man, young boy stand on business. He pull up where and shit. He just splash it. He on that savage ass. Fell in love with digits. This shit on the floor. Run up on me, hit him. His dress on the floor. I hope it ain't your bitch.